I'm Madison Myers, your Marlin and Neighborhood Reporter. Now we see signs like these all across our community, but some people are denied an application before they even submit it. I spoke to some local organizations in our community that are helping people with a criminal past still find a job. Offenses from 20 and 30 years ago are held against a lot of our uh, members in our organization. And it's like, you know, at what point is enough enough? With approximately 60% of previously incarcerated people struggling to find a job in the U.S., some Central Texas groups are helping provide resources for people in our community who have been to jail. I spoke to Jennifer Toon with the Lioness Alliance. She tells me the obstacles begin as soon as they've been released from custody. But I also, too, was on parole and I was on an ankle monitor, um, a high level of supervision. So that even complicated going to job interviews, um, being able to work extra hours. She says they're also faced with scrutiny during their job search from local employers. I think formerly incarcerated people are ready to work and they're ready to work jobs that will give them a sustainable living wage, right? It's the employer um, that has that fear uh, when they pull up that background check. I did some digging and was able to find a list of felon-friendly employers in our area, including AT&T, Walgreens, Dollar Tree, Home Depot, and IHOP. Caitlin Smith began the Rise nonprofit in Marlin. It's a group dedicated to providing resources like clothes, shoes, and other hygiene items for previously incarcerated women. I had no resource, nothing. I didn't even have resources to go to the grocery store. And so for me, that was a huge part of this has to change. From being locked up to opening her own business within the city of Marlin, Caitlin hopes other members who have been to jail can find hope in the same way she did. We are working to change the legislations. We're working to make differences in that way, but we have to be able to help right now. They're not alone. People have been through this, people have survived this, and they can too. Both the Lioness Alliance and RISE help our neighbors who were previously incarcerated find resources, and you can find both of their information on our website. Your Marlin Neighborhood Reporter, Madison Myers.